WC Kids, it's Miss Allie and the whole kids staff team back here at the church. We're so excited to be here and to bring you guys another devotion from the Bible today along with some great crafts. So I will see you later, but I am going to go get Pastor Rachel so that she can give you guys our lesson for today. to hurt Christians, but Jesus appeared to him and blinded him. And that's where our story left off last week. But this week, we're going to pick it up with a man named Ananias. And Jesus appeared to him in a vision, and he said, you need to go heal this man, Paul. But Ananias knew all about how he wanted to hurt Christ followers just like him. So he was scared, and he told God, I don't know about this because he's probably going to hurt me. But God said to him, no, I have chosen this man, and I will use him to praise my name. So despite Ananias being afraid, he went and he healed him anyway. And just like God said, Paul was able to preach the good news to everyone. But the religious leaders of that day were not so happy about that, so they threatened to hurt Paul. But his friends were able to help him escape. Then he was going to Jerusalem to preach the good news there too. But the Christ followers there were scared, just like Ananias was. And they said, we heard about this guy and he's going to hurt us. But his friend Barnabas told them that he is a changed man and he is not that way anymore. So they trusted that. And he was able to preach all about Jesus in Jerusalem because of that. And the story shows us that although we're scared, Jesus can help us face our fears. And that is our bottom line for today. It is knowing Jesus can help you face your fears. So that, say that with me one more time. Knowing Jesus can help you face your fears. Okay, now on to Pastor Josh with our memory verse. Hey guys, it's time for our memory verse for the month of June. It comes from Hebrews 11.1 1, and it says, Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we cannot see. We want you guys to do your best to try and memorize that verse for this month. Now on to Pastor Peter, who's going to join us for a word of prayer. Have a good one. guys, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for everything that you do for us. God, I pray that this week as we go about our days that we would have faith um, even though we might not be able to see you, God, and that we would be able to share what we learned today with those around us, with our, our parents, our friends, and our family, God. Be with us. Give us strength and courage. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, guys. Have a great week. Oh, a baby. Look at that. Hi guys. Today we are going to make a craft. So you need a paper plate. You need a popsicle stick. You need some crayons or markers or something to draw with. And then you also need some tape. So what you're going to do is on the first side of your plate, you're going to write the word fear. And then draw a face that you think of when you think of fear. I drew this one. It looks pretty scared to me. And then you can also write things that make you afraid. So for me, I wrote the dark, big bugs, whatever it is that you're afraid of, feel free to write it on this side of the paper. Then on the other side, we are going to write our bottom line that says knowing Jesus can help you face your fears. So write it around the rim, and then in this space, you can draw a smiley face or a face that makes you happy. So whenever you face the scary things, you can flip it over and remind yourself that Jesus, knowing Jesus, helps you face your fears. When you're done drawing your scary face and your happy face, you can take your popsicle stick, tape it to the back, and then you have a mask that you can go around with. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. We're at the 
this elevator. 